Want to future proof your career and earn big in 2025? Now whether you're a student or job seeker or someone thinking of switching careers, the world of work is changing fast. And the secret to staying ahead is learning the right high paying skills, the ones company are actually willing to pay. Now according to reports by LinkedIn, Nascom and Forbes, employers in 2025 will be looking less at degrees and more at skills. From generative AI and cloud computing to cybersecurity and digital strategy, today's job market value people who can apply their skills in real world scenarios. So in this video, I'm breaking down the top 10 highest paying technical skills of 2025 based on industry trends, global hiring data and average salary reports. And I will walk you through each skill what it is why it matters how much you can earn and how to actually start learning it so make sure you watch this video till the end and hey if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more future focused career guides also grab a notebook and a pen so you can start writing let's start with number 10 which is digital marketing digital marketing is much more than social media posts and ads It's about using online platforms to build brands, attract customers and drive sales. From running Google Ads to mastering SEO to creating content that converts leads, digital marketers are the reason we discover new products on Instagram or get that perfect YouTube ad. Now, our digital marketers manage campaigns, track web traffic, analyze user behavior and constantly tweak strategies to improve performance. They use tools like Google Analytics, Meta Ads Manager, SEMrush and email marketing platforms. Now the skills needed are content writing, SEO, paid advertisement, analytics and platform knowledge like Instagram, LinkedIn and Google Ads. Now in India, entry level digital marketers earn around 3 to 5 lakhs per annum, but experienced professionals and digital strategists can earn up to 12 to 20 lakhs plus per annum. Now you can start with free courses on Google Digital Garage, HubSpot or Coursera. Internships and certifications from platform like Upgrad or Digital Scholar help boost credibility also. So if you are creative, data curious and enjoy building an online presence, this is your field for sure. Okay. At number 9, we have financial analysis. Now financial analysts help companies understand their numbers. They study market trends, create financial models, track expenses and help businesses make smart money decisions. Think of them as bridge between numbers and strategy. Financial analysts work with tools like Excel, Power BI, Tableau, and accounting software to track performance and forecast growth. Now, skills needed are strong Excel skills, data interpretation, financial modeling, knowledge of ratios and reports, plus business sense for sure. Now, in India, an entry level role is about four to six lakhs per annum. With experience or an MBA or a CFA, this can shoot up to fifteen to twenty five lakhs as well. A background in BCom economics or finance helps, and you can also upskill via courses on platforms like CFI, which is Corporate Finance Institute, Wall Street Prep, or even Coursera. So, if you love working with data, budgets, or forecasting the future, this one is probably for you. Okay, coming in at number eight, I have UI UX designed for you. Ever opened an app and thought, "Wow, this is so easy to use." That's the work of a UI UX designer. Now, UI stands for user interface, how something looks. UX is user experience, how it works. Together they make websites and apps smooth, functional and visually appealing. UI UX designers create wireframes, prototypes and final designs. They test user journeys, fix pain points and collaborate with developers. Tools like Figma, Adobe XD, Sketch, Canva are their go-to tools. Skills needed are surely creativity, design thinking, empathy for users and basic knowledge of user psychology. Now India fresher starts at about 4 to 6 lakhs per annum but with experience 12 to 20 lakhs per annum senior roles especially in product based companies can go 30 plus lakhs also now while a formal degree isn't necessary a ui ux design having a technical background can be beneficial degrees in btech in computer science uh, information technology or related field can provide a solid foundation for you so if you're a creative problem solver who loves blending tech with art this is definitely your playground at number 7 is web development Now every website you visit whether it's YouTube, Amazon or a food delivery app was built by a web developer. These professionals make the internet function. Now web developers create websites, dashboards and web apps. They write codes on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, manage databases and make sure everything runs smoothly. Full stack developers handle both front end what users see and back end like server database. Now I know some of you must be thinking web development has been totally taken over by AI. I understand to an extent but i still believe a lot of people with right skill set are required to make the actual functional website from ai now ai right now has a very primitive type so web developers can extract 
put in their knowledge and expertise to create better websites. Now, skills needed are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Node.js, GitHub, basic knowledge of databases, and also basic knowledge of AI-driven tools to make website also. In India, entry-level developers are about 4 to 6 lakhs per annum, while experienced full-stack developer can earn 15 to 30 lakhs per annum, especially in product or SaaS companies. Now, to learn, you can choose from tons of free and paid resources. Try free code camp, Udemy, join a boot camp or use Coursera. There's so many options. So if you like coding and enjoy building things from scratch, web dev might be your fit. Okay, at number six, we have project management. You know all those big tech launches, app releases, or even building a new feature on a website? Well, there's someone behind the scenes making sure the right people are doing the right task on the right time within the budget. That's the job of project manager. Project managers, which are PMs, they plan, coordinate, and lead teams to complete projects successfully. They work with developers, designers, marketers, clients, basically everyone. Tools like Jira, Asana, Trello, Monday.com are part of their everyday toolkit. Now, skills needed are definitely communication, time management, leadership, problem solving, and understanding of agile or scrum methodology. So in India, an entry-level PM earns 6 to 9 lakhs per annum. With experience, a PM can or a Scrum certification. Salaries can jump to 20 to 35 lakh. And MNCs can cross 40 lakhs also. So start with a degree in business or tech. Then add certification like PMP, Prince2, a certified Scrum Master, which is CSM. So if you're organized, good with people, and love getting things done, this role might be great fit for you. Ad number five is cybersecurity. With data breaches, hacking, and online scams on the rise, companies are investing big to protect their systems and users. That's where cybersecurity experts come in. Cybersecurity professionals secure networks, detect vulnerabilities, prevent cyber attacks, and respond to incidents. They work in IT firms, government banking, healthcare, startups. Common tools include Linux, Wireshack, and a lot of different firewalls. Skills required are network security, ethical hacking, and risk analysis. In India, beginners can earn 6 to 8 lakhs per annum with experience and certification like CEH, CI, SSP. Salaries can go up to 25 to 40 lakhs. Globally, cybersecurity exceeds about $100,000 in US. So you start with a degree in computer science or IT, then pursue certification like CEH, CompTIA Security, CI, SSP. Platforms like CyberWary or EC Council are great to get started. Now, it's for analytical minds who are interested in network security, ethical hacking, and want to work for a cause. At number four is software development. From the apps on your phone to complex banking systems, software developers build the digital tools we use every day. Developers write and test code, fix bugs, collaborate with designers and project or product managers, and turn ideas into working software. Now, whether it's web apps, mobile apps, games, or enterprise systems, developers are needed everywhere. Now, skills needed are programming, problem solving, debugging, and commonly used languages like Python, JavaScript, Java, C++, Go, and platforms like GitHub, VS Code, and Stack Overflow are part of their toolkit. Now, again, I understand a lot of people might be thinking software development will be overtaken by AI very soon. Chat GPT can code, more advanced AIs can code. But according to Bill Gates, what he said in one of the interviews is these software developers will not be replaced by AI. Yes, the role will change, the profile will change, but not will be completely replaced. So make sure you work on improving your capabilities and skill set for the new job. So make sure you work on improving your capability and skills for the new world. As far as salary is concerned in India, entry level is about 4 to 8 lakhs. Full stack and backend developers, experienced one can get 15 to 30 lakhs also. And as a global scale, it's 80 to $130,000 in US. Typically, you need a BTEC or a BCA, but many people also learn through coding boot camps, YouTube platform like Free Code Camp, Let's Code, and Coursera also. Now, this is a great fit if you are a logical thinker who enjoy coding and love building apps and softwares. At number three, we have cloud computing. Now, every time you stream Netflix, save a Google document, or use a web app, you're using the cloud. And the demand for cloud engineers is skyrocketing. Cloud professionals manage data storage, servers, databases, and security on platforms like AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. They are the reason apps run smoothly, safely, and can scale. Skills needed are cloud architecture, DevOps, networking, Linux, automation tools like Terraform or Docker. 
In India, cloud engineers earn seven to ten lakhs per annum early on, and scale scale up to twenty five to forty lakhs with certification and experience. AWS solution architects in the US earn an average of one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So you start with IT or CS background and add cloud certification like AWS certification, solution architecture, Microsoft Azure fundamental, or Google associate cloud engineer. So this is what techies who love cloud infrastructure, automation, and scalable systems, cloud computing is definitely your area. At number two, we have data science and analytics. Companies today are drowning in data, and data scientists are the ones who turn that chaos into gold. Data scientists and analysts clean, analyze, and visualize large sets of data to help businesses make smarter decisions, from customer behavior to fraud detection to market trends. Now, the skills needed include statistics, programming, data wrangling, storytelling through dashboards, and critical thinking. You should also have hands-on experience with tools like Python, R, SQL, Excel, Tableau, Power BI, and even platforms like Google Analytics and BigQuery. Now, in India, an entry-level role starts from six to nine lakhs per annum, and experienced data scientists can make twenty-five to thirty-five lakhs per annum. In the U.S., average salary is one hundred and thirty to one hundred and sixty thousand for senior roles. So, start with a degree in B.S. or B.Tech in statistics, math, or C.S., and then upskill with certification in data science or analytics. Like Google Data Analytics, IBM, and Coursera. Now, it is for curious minds who love data, pattern, and problem solving. All right, and at the top of my list, at number one, technical skill of 2025 and beyond is generative AI and machine learning. Now, whether it's Chat GPT, Dali, self-driving cars, or recommendation engines, AI is already transforming the world, and we are just getting started. AI ML engineers build systems that learn from data. Automation tasks like speech recognition, image creation, personalization, and decision making. Generative AI specialists focus on building models that create content, text, images, music, code, all using deep learning. Now, skills needed are advanced Python, neural networks, deep learning, NLP, and critical thinking. And hands-on experience on tools like TensorFlow, PyTorch, OpenAI API, cloud-based ML platform like Google Vertex AI, Azure ML. Now in India, fresher AI ML engineer earn between 10 to 15 lakhs per annum, and professionals with three to five years experience is 25 to 50 lakhs. In US, salaries are 150 to 250 thousand dollars in top firms. So how do you start? So start with BTech in CS, Math, AI, ML, followed by specialized AI ML courses like Stanford, Deep Learning, Open AI. Hands-on projects and competitions gives upper edge for you. Now it's for analytical minds who enjoy solving abstract problems and experimenting with innovative ideas. If you're like that, this is definitely for you. So there is it: the top 10 highest paying and most in-demand technical skills of 2025, from AI and data science to digital marketing and financial analysis. The one thing all these skills have in common is relevance. Now these aren't just good to have skills anymore; they are what companies are actively hiring and paying premium salaries for. Now here's the best part. You don't need to master all of them. Just pick one that aligns with your interest, your strengths, and your long-term career goals. Whether you are a student just starting out or someone planning to upskill, there's never been a better time to invest in your learning. Now remember that your skills pay the bills, and the right skills can change your entire future. So if you found this video helpful, do like it, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. to the channel for more career guidance and future ready insights let me know in the comments which of these skills are you planning to learn in 2025 this is shirish your career mentor signing off see you in the next one